VDOC P is required for every single handwritten entry, so make sure you prepare test protocols in a manner that supports GDOC P or the integrity of test results can be compromised. When preparing protocols, have a signature and date block on each page or, at a minimum, each section for the tester and the reviewer to sign and date. Pages should be signed and dated at the time that the associated action was taken. Protocols and other such controlled documents must not be completed in advance of completing a test step. Provide data recording blocks for all test equipment to allow the equipment to be uniquely identified. This can include equipment description, asset number or model serial number, last calibration date, calibration due date, or reference to a calibration management system. The entire environment should be recreatable after looking at the executed results. Setting up the protocol to prompt the tester to record this information is very powerful. Number each page, page X of Y, with a document number and a revision reference.